we are investigating autonomous multi-throw suturing with the Da Vinci surgical robot. In the same way that human drivers can benefit from the automation of well-defined and tedious subtasks such as parallel parking and driving on open freeways, surgeons can also benefit from the automation of surgical subtasks such as suturing. While suturing is ubiquitous in surgery, it remains a tedious and time-consuming subtask. In this work, we consider multi-throw suturing, a suturing technique beneficial for minimizing wound tension that does not require knot tying. Here we see a demonstration of our system performing an autonomous execution of a four-throw suturing task sped up by four times. Each throw can be broken up into four steps. Needle orientation, needle insertion, needle re-grasp and pull, and needle handoff. We use sequential convex optimization to pre-select the appropriate needle size and to generate curvature-constrained needle trajectories designed to minimize tissue trauma. To reduce needle pose uncertainty, we use real-time needle tracking along with a jaw-mounted needle guide. We achieved a 50% success rate for the four throw suturing task, successfully completing 86% of single suture throws attempted. We have designed a gripper jaw mounted needle guide that passively reorients the needle into a known position upon gripper closure as shown. We showed that a needle guide reduces needle post uncertainty by three times as compared to a standard needle driver. We have also developed a needle tracking system to estimate the needle pose. Here we see a 3D pose estimate of the needle overlaid onto the camera image. The system uses robust point set registration to fit elliptical curves to a color-based segmentation of the needle, and estimates its depth using stereo camera correspondences. Together, the needle guide along with the needle tracking system reduces needle position uncertainty to approximately 2 mm. We also show some failure modes. We are exploring improved vision algorithms and planning techniques to improve the robustness of our system.